Alright guys, this is Menthex and welcome to another Borderlands 3 video. I just want to quickly show you guys where you can get yourselves a light show, which is highly regarded as probably the best pistol, if not the best weapon, in Borderlands 3 right now. So this thing has a dedicated loot drop in the Obsidian Forest from a named enemy called Lazodactyl, which you can find in the Bounty of Blood DLC. If you want to farm this thing, I recommend using the fast travel station at Crone's Contentment, and from there it's like a 10 second walk or so to get to Lazodactyl's spawn. I have managed to get a few different versions of this weapon as it does come in all the different elements. I primarily use my fire one as it has the consecutive hits anointment and it's incredible for the build I have running right now on flak. But yeah, just follow the route I take from the fast travel point at Crone's Contentment in the Obsidian Forest and you should get to Laser Dactyl pretty quickly. So there are a few things that you should know about Laser Dactyl. First off, he is a flying enemy which means that he's an absolute joke of a target to hit sometimes because he flies around really really fast. Also his arena consists of all these open edges on the cliff and he flies really close to them sometimes, sometimes really like far out in the open. So you have to be careful not to kill him while he's near the cliff edge or else you'll likely lose all of your loot. Not to mention when you do kill Laser Dactyl, his loot spews forward the way that he's facing if that makes sense. So you've got to make sure that he's facing you when you kill him. To be honest I was finding this to be quite a problematic farm and I'd much rather go ahead and farm the Ruiner over and over since he can also drop the light show but Laser Dactyl is the dedicated loot drop for the light show. Now the light show has a super high damage but super high ammo consumption. I've seen people compare this thing to the double anarchy from Borderlands 1 and I 100% agree with that due to the shot pattern and the way that this weapon shoots and operates. This gun is really effective against huge targets and big bosses like Grave Ward or the Ruiner or alternatively it is good for mobbing but mainly at close range due to its unique firing pattern and you'll see what I mean in the footage on screen right now. Overall I do love this weapon, I definitely recommend you go grab yourself one, particularly with the consecutive hits anointment to boost your gun damage. I'll be farming for a few more of these and playtesting a few more flat builds until I get this thing up to par with some of the other builds out there, but yeah, the damage potential on this gun is amazing and uh, I recommend you add it to your build regardless of which Vault Hunter you're using. Fingers crossed that Gearbox don't end up nerfing this thing but we'll have to see because it, it is being talked about a lot in the community right now and everyone is raving about this thing so yeah. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video, it means a hell of a lot to me. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed and consider subscribing if you are new here and enjoy Borderlands related content just like this. Thanks again guys and I'll catch you in the next video.